Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to open your very own shop on Etsy. I'll be walking you through step by step how to get started, make your first listing, create your shop banner and cover icon using Canva, and filling out all the important details you need to start making sales on Etsy. I'll be leaving a link in the description box below so that you can receive your first 40 Etsy listings for free, so be sure to use that link and let's get started. Then we'll go ahead and click on open a shop today. And then you're going to register with an email address and get your account set up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And once you register with Etsy, it will bring you to setting up your shop. So we'll go through the shop preferences, your shop language, shop country, and shop currency. And now you can go ahead and name your shop. So I already went ahead and chose a name that I liked. And then to open up your shop, you do have to at least list one item. Now this can just be a test item that you can go in, put a random photo, some random information, and then remove that later on once everything is set up. Or if you have some items already prepared, then this is where you would go ahead and list at least one. Um, to get started and then make sure that you get all of your other shop details and information set up. So I'm going to walk you through how to add your first listing. So this is the add a new listing page. The first thing you'll do is add your cover photo and then try to add as many other photos as you can so that the customer can see what the product might look like. I'm going to click add a photo and I already have some product mockups set up. Just gonna click one of those. You can go down here and adjust the cover photo. So I kind of like to zoom in on it and then save. You can add a video of your product. And then now we're going to get into these important SEO and marketing details such as the title, the tags, the description. So in the title, you want to list as many keywords as you can that you think that the customer might be searching for. And then you can separate those main phrases and keywords with commas. Then you'll go ahead and fill out more details about the listing, who made it, I did, what is it, a finished product, when did you make it, and now category. And find digital prints and then down here there are some extra details you can fill in they are not necessary they don't make you fill these in to list the item but they could be helpful like if you are selling maybe something that has to do with a certain holiday you can fill that in now down here with renewal options you can either make the options automatic or if you would like to keep an eye on it, you can put manual, but I just do automatic. And then the type, if you're selling a physical product and you're actually mailing or shipping a product, you'd want to put physical, but I'm just doing digital. That means that my items are just going to be downloaded digitally online. The person can print it themselves and it's just a lot easier. And I like selling in this way because it's passive income. I just upload the item and then I don't have to deal with it anymore. Description. This is going to explain to the customer um, what you are giving them. When I sell digital items, I make sure that people know that it is a digital printable and no physical, oops, no physical product will be mailed. And I try to put that in multiple places so that people can see that that is what they're getting. Put the size of your product and any important details. And now the tags are going to be really important. I like to use a lot of tags that are going to be based off of the title that I've used. So we have watercolor, floral, birdhouse, print. You want to make sure that you are using similar or same tags to help with those keyword searches. So someone might be looking for a spring printable and try to use as many tags as you can. The more the better, the more chances for that tag to lead to a sale. And for materials, I just once again put digital. 
And now you can go ahead and list a price. Just put $5 and then quantity. The most you can put is $999, um, but for digital products, um, that's good because you won't really run out. People can just keep purchasing the same download. And now we go down to digital files and I'm just going to upload the file that the customer will actually be getting once they purchase. All right, so now that all of those are filled out, you can press save and continue. And there it is, my first listing. It was super easy to fill out. Uh, once again, you can go ahead and list more items if you have more that you'd like to list right away. Or if you don't have an item yet, you could have gone in and just filled all of those out, but had some sort of made up product and maybe a blank image so that you could just get that out of the way and continue setting up your shop. So let's save and continue. So now we're in the how you'll get paid section of setting up your Etsy shop. So I'm gonna fill this out and then we'll move forward. So once you filled out all of your bank and payment information, you just press open your shop. So now we get into actually editing your shop and making everything look all nice and pretty and cohesive. So when customers go to your shop, it looks all put together and um, they'll feel more comfortable purchasing from you. So we'll go ahead and click edit shop. And this brings us back into our shop manager page. And this is where we can edit everything. So the first thing that we'll do is work on the banner, our cover icon and our shop owner photo. So if you click on this plus button on banner, you can see that you can make a big banner or a mini banner. So I'm going to show you quickly how you can easily create your own banner using Canva and then get that all nice and set up. So for our big banner, it'll show you the size. We need 1,200 by 300 pixels. For mini banner, you need 1,200 by 160. And then while we're at it, I'm also going to look at the cover icon. For the cover icon, you need an image that is 500 pixels by 500 pixels. So we're going to make both a banner and a cover icon using Canva. I'm gonna walk you through that really quickly. So I've logged on to my Canva account. Canva is a free editing platform online um, that you can make designs with. And um, I have some tutorials on my YouTube channel. Uh, what we're gonna do is press create a design. So I'm going to make the big banner. That was 1,200 by 300 pixels. I'm gonna go to custom size and press create new design. And I have uploads that I would like to use to make my design. So what I'll say about the banner is that you'll probably want your shop name somewhere on the banner. So this is the logo that I have. You can also go to text and use different texts and fonts to make your own. And then I also have clip art that I've painted and made that I'm going to just pretty up the design a little bit, drag it on and then customize where I lay it. And now all I'll do is press download, I'll make it a JPEG and I have my banner downloading. Okay, now we're going to go back to create a design and this time we're going to make the cover icon 500 by 500 pixels. And I'm going to use my same logo Okay, and then download that one. Okay, so that is how I easily made my banner and my cover icon using Canva. So let's go back to Etsy and set those up. So I'm back on Etsy. I'm going to press that plus icon for banner. I'm going to go to big banner. I'm gonna press done. I'm going to add an image. I'm gonna open up my banner. Now I'm going to press that camera for the cover icon. And now I have my banner and my shop icon. Now I'm going to choose my photo so that people know who they're purchasing from. It doesn't have to be a picture of you, it could be a picture of your product, but I'm okay with it being a picture of me, so I'm going to go ahead and choose that. Keep in mind that the image has to be a square image, at least 400 by 400 pixels. 
Okay, so now we have a cohesive looking uh, shop front. Um, if you click on this plus icon underneath your shop title, this is what it's going to say when your shop is displayed on Google. So I'm going to put printable digital products and featured area. We're going to set that up, press the plus icon. So this is going to allow you to choose featured products. Let's say you have a sale going on or if you have like holiday special products, um, then you can set up a grid and it's going to set up four listings, usually for the holidays like um, Christmas or Valentine's Day or something, I would set up um, some of my most popular products uh, for the holiday so that when people go onto my shop, they'll see kind of relevant products at that time. Of course, I only have one product right now, so that's the only one that's going to show up. But if you had multiple, you could choose um, by editing the queue and then choosing different products to go there. I'm going to save that. We're going to keep going down. Down here we can put the shop announcement. Let's say I have a sale. Sale now through March. And then we can put like 15% off. And just really quickly I'll show you how to set up a sale. Go to marketing, sales and coupons new special offer, you can run a sale, you can set up an offer, or you can create a coupon code. I usually do run a sale, and what that would do, you can choose your 15% off, valid everywhere, choose your dates, choose which listings are on sale, review and confirm, confirm and create the discount, and then when you went back, um, now my listing is on sale for 15% off. All right, down here you can put your shop updates. You can add a video. So I know that a lot of artists will show kind of their process. So if I wanted to add a painting process video, this is where I would put that. Um, and then you can put photos of maybe your process, your workspace, or if there's anything special about what you're making and add your story headline and about your story and tell shoppers a little bit about your business. Down here you can add your website and social media links and you can add a personal bio with fun facts about yourself or if you have any other shop members that are helping you create products. Down here you'll put your simple shop policies. Let's try it. Um, Etsy has some standard policies that they set up for you and then you can go in and kind of edit uh, like if you don't accept returns, if you accept exchanges, um, the timeline of when you'd like to be contacted uh, for returns. For digital products, I usually don't accept returns unless the customer hasn't uh, downloaded the files or something like that. If they accidentally purchased the wrong product, um, then it's really going to have to be up to you and what you feel comfortable with. Down here you can put frequently asked questions. So these are all done. We have all of that main information set up. We're going to go ahead and view the shop. All right, so this is what my shop looks like. I have my big banner set up, my shop icon, a photo of me, my products, featured items about my shop, the shop policies, and if we go ahead and click on our item, then you can go ahead and look at what the item would look like to a customer. So they'll see that main cover photo and then any other photos that you have. They'll see that it's a digital download, what type of file it is. And then underneath that cover photo and the other photos will be the description. So that is how you can set up your very own shop on Etsy from making your first listing to creating your shop banner and shop icon. I hope that this tutorial has been helpful and you can dive in and start selling your printable or physical products on Etsy. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more tutorials like this in the future.